Hi, and welcome to Find Your Electric. Today I'm going to show you five places in Milan you can learn about Leonardo da Vinci. I can do this with my eyes closed. Number five is Leonardo da Vinci's um, National Science and Culture Science and Industry? Science and Technology. Leonardo da Vinci's National Museum of Science and Technology. I still enjoyed myself there, but I have a few tips on what to see and what not to see. On the third floor, there is a gate. I recommend playing that. What was it about? I was smashing particles together, basically. In the gaming area, kind of below it, um, there was this game, it was a spaceship game, I would recommend playing it, and here was why. I wedged my thumb, it hurt a lot. Then, um, uh, I went to the Leonardo space. In the Leonardo area, you'll see different people that were in Leonardo's past. If you look up, you'll see a kitty cat that I'm going to talk about later. If you look in the room that has a really red, it's about looming and designs for his inventions. He was seeing how hard it was for people to make cloth and all sorts of things. Um, and he was trying to improve that. But some of his designs were too complex um, and they were never built. Now moving on to number four, which is... Castle Sforza. Oh, um, Castle Sforza, um, it's a pretty good place. There's this really, really good, um, this video about Leonardo painting his work office and he taught people here and he paint and he made designs and painted trees and worked in so many things. He was never able to finish it because the French people came and took over Milan, he fled. They covered it over and um, and when they found it, they repainted it. Um, to bring it to life, they um, they showed you a video. Sorry, was it just on a screen? No, it was around the whole room. They used the room as the screen. That is really cool. Um, now number three. Now we're gonna talk about The Last Supper. I really think it's, um pretty good. I wouldn't recommend it for kids who are impatient. Um, you got to wait and demoisturize because um, the painting, the heat, the heat from, from our bodies, it ruins the painting and yeah. So what is The Last Supper? The Last Supper is something Leonardo made. Um, it's very famous and it's about, um, well, Jesus is basically last meal. Leonardo designed hands in ways people never designed hands um, before. And he also went around Milan and found people with faces with emotion. And he sketched them. And he put them in the Last Supper. That's why it took him like three years. When it took his person on the other side, who started at the same time as him, three months. Does it look like a fresh painting? No, there were colors faded. It's really, 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 really. Um, the good thing is it survived both world wars for some reason. Um, now I'm gonna move on to my second. Um, now we um, are going to talk about my one of my favorite places in all of Milan, Leonardo's Vineyard. Now, it's very close to the last step of building, so you can go there as soon as you get out. Um, I wanted to say about Milan that, um, that everything is in walking distance. From where I'm filming this now, I can literally walk to the Duomo. It's very famous. Now, the vineyard is a place that Leonardo used to live. And one of my favorite things is, remember that cat I talked to you about in number five? Well, that cat actually lives in this vineyard. I met that cat and petted it myself. The vineyard is beautiful. Um, you only get to see a few rooms inside the house, the courtyard, and the backyard. Um, and at the vineyard, they have this. Can you show us the book? Oh yeah, I was doing my very own designs of trees. This is inspired by the um, tree in the um, fortress. 
um, the tree painting in the fortress. The branches are still to work on, so yeah. Now I'm going to talk about my favourite place, the Leonardo Street Museum. It's very friendly to kids, you get your very own audio guide. I would highly recommend this. The museum was filled with um, Leonardo's designs and there was screens and you could assemble these designs. And in the first room, you walk in, you see a knight. Tell me what's special about the knight. Um, the knight? It can move. This is how it moves. Um, now I'm going to tell you about another part. They have VR. Um, they only have one VR set for the back, the back of the boat. Um, it helps you steer and the person in the front moves up and down. Now, if you get stuck, the person in the front can be started. Do you all know the basic machines? Well, I hope you all do. Because in this, they will give you a challenge. And it's, the, and it's the simple machines. If you complete this challenge, then you can design these. Now, my first one was the water machine. Now, it looks like this. Then I did the flying machine. And then I did the land machine. Now, these are all the Leonardo's designs. It was really cool. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. And maybe... Um, do a um another one. I'm probably gonna make this a whole series. Yeah. Charlie, if you think I should make this a whole series, please tell me what's cool. So yeah.